Hello friends and fam, today we are going to take you on a nice road trip. As you can see we are now in the forest, haha, but we are not. We are actually in the outskirts of Warsaw and we are going to a forest. More specifically to our forest house, which is pretty common for people who live in big cities in the center. Because when you are tired of the city center you will most probably feel like going away for the weekends. Which is what we are doing right now. As you are most probably aware, due to the corona, we were forced to stay in our houses for most of these beautiful spring days. You can probably not tell that it's May because it's really grey that specific hour of the day. But nevertheless, we are going to take a day off in our forest house about 30 kilometers away from Warsaw. Now very soon we are going to get the keys for the house so we don't have to stay outside. Going to a forest is probably the best we can do these days for multiple reasons. First of all, we cannot leave the country. I don't know where you are right now, but the big possibility is that the borders are closed. That is the case for us here. Though obviously we had plans like everyone else for this spring, they absolutely definitely are getting cancelled. Maybe not for summer, but spring is definitely going to be spent here in our region. I am very aware that some cities are closed, so if you are in a city that's closed off, I am really sorry for you. This is me. And my mom. Yes, uh, let me introduce ourselves. So this is me right after we got McDonald's, because you should probably know that unless you get a McDonald's, it's not a real road trip. Well, for me it's McDonald's, for you it can be KFC or maybe like Wendy's or some other fast food. As long as it drive through, of course, because you don't want to make the effort of leaving the car. Okay, back to road trips. Another very good reason to go to the forest these days is because there is absolutely no people. And if you are like me, you hate the stupid new trend of wearing masks. I don't understand why people do it. Like, it's a fashion thing. Fashion, what are you doing these days? Personally, I really can breathe in them and I can breathe in general because I live in the city. So now we're going to the forest dogs J just look at dogs you must know that i'm a very typical city girl when it comes to these things i have a horrible arachnophobia i hate bugs i hate mud i hate getting dirty more than anything however my love for nature and hiking is a little bit stronger i believe this is why i will force myself if you invite me to this kind of thing i will suffer but deeply inside Outside I will be always smiling, because even I sometimes need oxygen, which is what we're going to be getting right now. As you can see, what we're doing is a little counterproductive, since there's obviously a lot of people, even though they clearly told us to stay home. But oh well, it, it's the country, what, what, what can we do about it? We are now getting very close to the house we're going to, and... Maybe let's talk about the benefits of road trips for a little. Okay, I know that not everyone is familiar with them, because apparently not everyone went on road trips as a kid, which for me is very bizarre, because this is pretty much all the traveling that I would get until I was about 15. Yes, because my parents, for some reason, are very against going outside of the country, which may be the reason why I'm doing this the whole channel thing in the first place. Anyway. Since I have spent my entire life sitting in the car, or the bus, or the van, or other things used for road trips, I feel entitled for some reason to tell other people how to do it. So, first of all, road trips are very comfortable. Well, but not comfortable as uh, traveling by, let's say, plane or ship, because they're obviously de definitely longer. Uh, nobody's going to serve you biscuits or anything like this. But I like to have the comfort of being able to get out of the car and, for instance, look at the view. Or stop, like we're going to stop right here in order not to kill a dog. Yes. Or even open the window and have some fresh air, which you definitely will not get if you're on a plane. And most probably not what you're gonna get if you're, like, on a ferry. And in a train it makes very little sense because you can't stick your head out, which kind of sucks. Okay, here we gotta go a little slower. Maybe take a look at some fellow forest houses around. 
But let me get to the most... Most... Yes, let me get to the reason why road trips are such a good option. Okay, so unlike trains where you sit for hours, sometimes more than 24 hours, as has happened to me before, you actually bond with whoever you're sitting in in the car. Which is why you should very carefully choose the people you're going to, uh, for road trips with. Personally, I'm going with my mom, who I've been road tripping for years now, so I sort of know what to expect, but <laughs> the car is like the one place where you cannot sit silently. Because it's really very, very awkward. Because you know that at least one person isn't absolutely unfocused and can have headphones on. Which means that at least two people are absolutely obliged to talk. Or listen to music, which is also not a bad thing. Anyway. If you feel like bonding with whoever, lock themselves... Themselves? Lock yourself with them in a car for an hour and a half plus. And you'll see that after this, you're either gonna absolutely hate each other to the core or have a really strong bond. Here we're getting to the house. Yay. This hill used to be way higher for me when I was little. Okay. Uh, actually, let me tell you why this house is even more of a bonding experience for us. This is not any forest house ever. This is the house that my grandparents bought when my mom was a teenager or maybe even younger i'm not sure about that basically my grandparents were the people who would work and live in warsaw city center and in order to take a break from the crowds and the pollution they would get a getaway place like this one for the weekends where they could give themselves to their weird ass passions like gardening and and um and uh, and fishing, yes. My grandpa would come here to fish because there's a river, as you're gonna see soon. And since my grandparents would always go there, so would we. And sometimes we would spend entire summers in here, which is a very nice experience. I have counted that I have not been to this place for around 10 years now, which is huge for me because, as I said, I used to come here every weekend, more or less. So as we're looking at our neighbors being half-naked in their houses, you can't see this, but we can and people going on walks, though they've been told to stay at home just like we were. We are getting to our house. And right now we're very slow because the trees are getting into our eyes. And by eyes I mean lens, and by lens I mean car windows. Yes, I should probably make this clear. If you are going on a road trip, don't take a smart car. Really, I, I will talk about this in another video, but getting your Citroën burning on a road trip to Berlin is uh, is fun. I gotta give you that, but it's very stressful and you will most probably get a cold. Or if we were in a smaller car, I would be kind of stressed that it's gonna flip and fall. Or maybe stuck in the mud. Or maybe simply won't be big enough to pass through them. What I'm trying to say is that pick a good vehicle for road trips like you're gonna see ours in a second I think we're there yes that's my street yes oh, okay this is obviously a joke this is not actually my street but my grandparents thought it would be a cool thing to name this street after my name which I think is really cool I was wanting to brag about it on google maps once but then we realized it's not there that was not our house, by the way. This is our house. Okay, so as you will see very soon, it has the secret garden kind of vibe going on. I kind of like the whole idea of it being so hidden in the woods and it being so wild. I like the gate being rusty. It actually builds up your character a lot to do these kind of things uh, on your own or only in two people. Okay, so we're going in. As I said, I'm a huge bug phobe well yeah i have arachnophobia and i'm scared of bugs and mud okay so the first thing that i noticed was well it's not very surprising but i got a huge headache from the amount of oxygen i rarely spend time in nature you most probably too but after so many weeks of sitting at home and only breathing in 
my own coffee i was very shocked at the amount of air that was in this particular place this is the house it's, it was built pretty much from scratch by my grandpa Faden said it looked like a stable i gotta agree i think it's because of the wheel the wheel actually i painted on my own when i was like eight i'm very proud of it until today not not that i have a reason to but i think it's kind of cute okay so that's the house as I told you before, my grandparents used to visit it pretty much every single weekend. And you know what? Even then, it wasn't uncommon uh, for burglars, uh, drunk teenagers and hobos to go inside and steal something or just stay there for the night. Which is technically why we're here. We want to make sure that nothing of this sort is going on. Instead, we just find trash. This is sad, guys. Like, if you have to break in someone's house in the middle of the forest, at least don't leave your trash. Seriously. That's where the river is supposed to be i at least i remember it being a river uh it's probably due to the dry out what i mean probably it's obviously due to the dry out yes this is our car this is a good car for a road trip this is what you want to have uh in case you get stuck in the forest you know you don't want these wild ass animals to attack you or even mosquitoes which are as bad Yes, pollution. Pollution is a thing. Trash is a thing. Hoarding is a thing. Okay, after we take these really cute steps up, we are going to see my mom. She's pointing at trees and bushes, which is really cute due to the fact that I planted them. I want to say myself, but this is a big ass lie. No, we planted them with my family, which I think is really cute. Now we're going to see the pond that was put here on for one of my birthdays i think like fifth uh it's really gross because nobody came here for months i remember we used to find a lot of dead mice and, and moles inside it it's, it's really disgusting we should probably clean it okay we have noticed that nobody has broken in all this time which is a really nice thing because this has been a big issue so there was no real need to go inside also, it's really complicated to enter this house. Fun fact. Actually, a few years back, uh, two, I think, burglars broke in, uh, wanted to steal something, realized there was absolutely nothing worth their interest, they got angry, so they went to the fridge, took two eggs, and started throwing them around. Because literally that's the most damage they could have done. I remember this tree. I used to climb it. God, I must have been small. So yes, that's, uh, that, that, that was supposed to be a flower when I was planting it, from what I remember. And this is a really cute bench, which had a huge sort of like... Parisian garden vibe to it. And this used to be a gazebo, which is now flat. I don't know, I think there's something really cool about finding stuff like this in the forest. I think it's... Oh, what did I see? I found something, I think. Yep, we're approaching. And it is a ball. It's, it's literally just a red ball. Oh, I thought it would be something cooler. Oh well. Okay, now we're going to go on a walk. As I said, we are not used to air, so it's not going to be a long one. I'm sorry about this. I, I feel actually really lame. Okay, this is the sky. Finally, we're getting some sun. I don't know why we chose that particular day, because it's really gray and not sunny. I, I promise it's not the weather we usually have. As you can see, we are pretty much in the middle of a forest, so at least I got this part correctly. That's my street. Okay, we're now going to the river. Uh, this kind of river used to be very good for fishing. Now it's not, because it's forbidden. Oh. Don't you love how the weather just instantly changed from one cut to another? Yeah, I love that too. So, as I was saying, the river used to be great for fishing, now it's forbidden, because we actually started caring about the environment. I'm trying so hard not to fall here, holy shit. Okay, we're turning a turn to the river. I know it looks forbidden, I promise it's not though. I promise we can go in there. Happened to me many times. Okay, I actually really hate this river because of the absolutely horrible pollution that was taking place there since this place is pretty much free and nobody really walks around it people would come here and leave absolutely any sort of trash 
starting from casual ones like bottles and wrappers uh, to used condoms. Well, last time I found here a condom, I didn't realize what it was. Now I'm pretty aware it was a condom. Okay, so uh, this is a really beautiful view, guys. Come on. Uh, I don't know where you live, but personally, I don't see this kind of view. So I'm really enjoying it. Yes, we are at the riverbank. Nice. Makes me feel like Pocahontas. Okay, so this is the river that both me and my mom and a few other people from our family almost drowned at. Uh, it's not very crowdy. This is my hand, which is really nice to look at. The view is obviously very beautiful. There is a beach. If it was a little warmer, I would probably try to bathe in it. It used to not be a very good idea because the amount of people was absolutely overwhelming, to say the least. One time I actually saw swans learning how to fly around here. That was really cute. I'm about to walk to a uh, sand castle that someone left here. I gotta say, I prefer sun castles, sun, sand castles a million times to trash. Okay, and as we were walking and about to finish our trip, we found something actually interesting. Which would probably never... That's not trash, this is natural dirt. And these are swans. Okay, as I said, uh, it was a very polluted area since the coronavirus. Thankfully, nature actually started to sort of rebuild. You know, dolphins are coming back to Italy, deers are coming back to Warsaw city center. And in this place we have found... Yes, it's a dead something. I would probably say it was a wolf from the shape of the skull. But as you'll see in a moment, from the fur and the legs, it's most probably a wild pig. I'm sorry if you're sensitive to animal corpse. But this was just too interesting for me not to look at it. Yeah, and we're back to the forest. Okay, thank you very much for listening to my very not interesting story about forests and road trips. This is a small river. If we're not gonna dry out completely this summer, we might actually see more of it in a few months. What is it, Fade? So you guys, next time don't have corona and don't leave animal corpses at base.